So this one will be the first three terms in the expansion of this in ascending powers of x are these three. Now we have to find the values of n, a, and b. So one by one. How would you expand this? You will do n combination. First term will be 0. Then we have 2 here. That will be ax. This is 0. This also will be 0. And this will be n. Right? Plus n choose 1. That should be this. And that should be this. Here it is 1. Has to be 1 as well. And this will be n minus 1. And finally, the third term, n choose 2. That should be 2 ax, that should be 2 here, and then here we have n minus 2. Now, this will be n choose 0, anything choose 0, that should be 1, and this will be 2 power n, and that should be 1. This is 2 power n. But now we know 2 power n is equal to 32. But now 32 as well is equal to 2 power 5. So now because they have the same base, they will cancel out, n should be the value of 5. That's the first good thing we found in this expansion. We can use that to find the following values. Now we know n is 5. 5 choose 1 times 2. Here we have 5 minus 1 is 4. Then that will be ax. That will be 5 times the value of 32. Now for 2 power 4 is actually 16. We can always double check that. 2 power 4 is 16, exactly. Now times a and x. Now what is 5 times 16? Let's find out. That should be 80. So 80ax will be the second term. But now, now we know that this is equal to this. So 80ax have to be minus 40x. By comparison, this have to be this. So 80a have to be minus 40. a have to be minus 40 divided by 80, which will be minus half. Now for the last one, we have to expand this. Now again, n weight is 5, choose 2. Here we have 2 power. n is 5 minus 2 will be 3. Here we have ax, that should be power 2. Now 1 by 1, 5 choose 2 is 1. Let's check, that should be 10, but let's check. So 10, that should be 2 power 3 will be 8. a square, this will be x square. Now we know this is given by bx square. So, let's find out what is the value of b. So here we have 80 times ax squared. a squared is minus half squared. x squared is equal to b squared. Now minus half squared is what? It is 1 over 4. And that will be this. We can simplify. It will become 20. So 20 x squared e is supposed to be bx squared so obviously by comparing the coefficients we can see b have to be the value of 20 and that is your question in relation to binomial expansion